What's going on guys? This is JT here back with another video at Paragon level 240 and now we are going to be boosting up the combat rating. As you guys can see I have all my upgrades right here. Obviously my weapon and my shoulders do not show upgrades however they are going to be big upgrades. The arrows don't really mean all that much all the time because these are definitely going to be upgrades as far as stats and also damage now we are currently looking at 60 or 6058 combat rating what do you guys think how big of a combat rating boost is this about to be or is it just going to be a little bitty small baby boost? So we got 6058 combat rating. My overall damage is 14,528. We have 183,725 life. So pretty insane. Actually, you know what? I need to change specs too. Um, that way I don't have to keep respecing over and over. I think actually I'm going to activate... I guess my CR spec because I'm going to be pushing CRs next and then I'll have to redo up all my entire wardrobe, which is a pain in the ass because you got to inherit everything and then go back and forth. All right, so let's go ahead and start equipping gear. I'm going to equip the two pieces that don't have any arrows first to see what this changes. So my combat rating is 6058 along with 14,528 damage. Let's go ahead and equip the weapon. It is my best piece. So with the new weapon, it looks like we went up in damage a little bit here. And as far as CR, we went up a little bit in combat rating as well to 6087. Let's go ahead and put on the shoulders next. Like you see, there are no arrows on the shoulder. So we have 14,684 damage with 6087 combat rating. Let's go ahead and equip the shoulders now. And the shoulders brought us up to 6120 combat rating with also 14,743 damage. My damages looks like it's going to go somewhere above 15,000, which is going to be nice. All right, let's go ahead and just go down the line for the rest of the items. So this Razor Grip right here is pretty beast. It is a 3-3 with pretty high attributes. So my combat rating before equipping is 6120. Let's go ahead and equip with the transfer. So we got about 61 combat rating out of the offhand not bad let's go ahead and equip the impaler's breath which this is a pretty solid 3-3 chest we got some high stats here we got some okay magics low rolls but it is nice to have the beneficial effects plus also the damage reduce is not bad and the continual damage isn't bad either but just kind of low rolls uh, let's go ahead and equip the chest and that brings us that only brought us up 20 combat rating not really that much of a jump it did bring us up quite a bit of damage we're now at 14,903 damage this pants is going to be a relatively big upgrade because my pants are absolutely awful so we're at 6,200 combat rating let's go ahead and equip the pants transfer all the goods the pants brought us up to 6353 Along with 14,918 damage, let's go ahead and put on the helm. The helm is actually a pretty solid upgrade as well. And that brings us up to 6454. And now we're at 14,943 damage. Let's keep on rolling with the gear. We have some 3-3 gloves action. I mean, these gloves are insanely better than my other gloves, right? I mean, there's not even a freaking comparison. We'll go ahead and... Put on the gloves, and that brings us to 6,618 at combat rating. I was thinking we're going to be right around 7,000 7, to 7,100. So if my guess is right, that should be pretty accurate. So now we have 15,042 damage with 185,000 life. Uh, let's go ahead and equip the boots. Let's see, man, these boots are a massive upgrade. So we got 5,400 gear score boots going to an 8K gear score. But look at the stats, man. We basically bring a whole additional stat to it. Plus, pretty insane magics for the only thing is these boots are only two sockets, which is kind of unfortunate. All right, let's go ahead and equip the boots. The boots brought us up to 6,775 combat rating along with 15,042 damage. This belt is going to be a massive upgrade because I actually have a Paragon level 80 belt. Uh, you guys, you guys can't see, but look at the stats. I mean, these stats, literally one of these stats breaks off all these. So this is going to be a pretty solid upgrade. Let's go ahead and throw on the belt. The belt brings us up to 6,955 combat rating. 
which is pretty insane. We now have 15,080 damage along with 185,000 life. And now we got the two rings. Let's go ahead and throw these bad boys on. Let's see what we got here. So as far as the rings go, that ring brought us to 7,118 combat rating. We still have two pieces left to go. And that's kind of what I was thinking. I was thinking we were going to be somewhere around 7,000, 7,100 combat rating. We now have 15,137 damage with 185,000 life. We got two rings left. So let's go ahead and equip the Mount Banks ring. Damn, that brought us to 7,257 CR. That is absolutely nutty. And we still got a pretty insane neck as well. So now we're looking at 15,194 damage and still 185,000 life. So last but not least, we have the neck piece. And that is going from a 5,000 gear score neck straight to a 7,000 with tons of additional stats. Let's go ahead and equip the neck as well. And that brings us up. Actually, the combat rating went up further than I thought. I'm not going to lie. I thought it was going to be right around 7K. We're actually at 7,408 combat rating. Now, remember, this is not the best gear as far as like what set items I actually have. This is just the best gear for my combat rating specifically. I will be changing up different items when it comes to PVP and sets. So my combat rating will not be near as high. So after all the combat rating gear is equipped, we now have 15,196 damage along with 184,968 life, which is pretty freaking nutty we also got a couple gems that we need to add in here i'm gonna go ahead and disenchant all this gear that way i don't accidentally make any mistakes with anything else and i'm pretty sure yeah i have all the correct gear equipped so we are good to go ahead and disenchant every single item right here i'm just gonna double check everything to make sure everything's good to be disenchanted because i don't want to accidentally screw up right and also we can gamble a weapon which I need to do as well. All right, let's go ahead and... I know, it's part of my loadout. I get it. All right, let's go ahead and destroy all these items. Yes, I know it's part of my loadout. Destroy it anyway. Yes, I get it. We want to destroy. We want to destroy. We want to destroy. Imagine if I accidentally destroyed all my old items. All right, so we get a couple rank 9 gems back. And then there goes our 12 pieces of gear. Salvage. Bye. Bye. All the old gear is gone. Let me just save this challenge. Ref oh, actually, you know what? I need to equip these gems first, and then I'll save the loadout. All right, let's go ahead and socket a gem. We'll go ahead and socket this. We need to socket a red gem as well. I believe, I actually, what do I have? Oh, wow, I don't even have... Can I make... I might can make this gem rank 7. I'm not exactly sure. I'll have to check into that. That should actually bring up my damage as well. Yeah, my damage is going to be brought up. And I believe everything else is socketed yeah everything's socketed let me see if i can bring that i don't know if i can bring that tourmaline up to rank seven i'm pretty sure i can't but why not double check just to make sure oh yeah okay cool i can actually nice all right now we got a rank seven tourmaline all right cool so we got three rank eight tourmalines with one rank seven else I can help you with. which is uh pretty freaking powerful all right so now we're good to go ahead and save load out. oh actually you know what I need to inherit some of my gear before I even save loadout. That is true. All right, so we're going to go ahead and end this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. The overall total push ended up at 15,400 damage with 7,400 combat rating. Anyway, guys, I am out of here for now. Peace out.